Hello, today we will learn about Build Interactive and uh, we will know how can we create directives and uh, we will know about that how many types of directives and uh, um, built in directive and predefined directive and uh, custom directive what kind of this directive we will learn about that and I have noted down few notes about that and important which I want to show you and and we will do a practical of that now as I am having directives in this we are having the one question is this what is the use of angular js built-in directives for that we are having the answer when you load angular js library in html angular js provides some attributes which extends your html dom and these are known as directives and this is a very very important these are special attributes which is starting from ng prefix ng every directive is starting from ng this is the main whenever we will use any directive for that this we have to use this without the without ng we cannot create any directive angular js has set of in built directives which offers functionality to your application angular js also like you define your own directive and you can create your custom directive now in this program and in this lesson we will learn about custom directives also and now we will see directives which are generally used and in this in this lesson we will learn which directives we use generally on daily basis whenever we create our program during that time we use few general few directives which i want to show you and i will show to you and there are two types of directives predefined directives and custom directives we will see the difference between of that predefined and custom directives predefined directive means which directive is already already have the functions and which is the already predefined which can be used which can be called that predefined directive like that as we as i want to show you ng hyphen f this is a directive and use of directives define the root element of an array type of an application this means ng app is shows whenever we use this ng app it will shows where from our program is starting and when where it will be end this is this shows that so we use that and second is we are having ng model bind the value of html controls to your data it means whenever we are having a variable and whenever we have created a variable in that we have set as a, a name like name equal to as i am having my name is this Raju kumar my name is my name is in name to that name we can write in model after that when we will run our program during that time it will be fetch it will fetch that data from there about this we will see an example and second is we are having ng hyphen bind bind the content of an element to application data third one is ng init define initial values for an application means when, whenever we are having ng hyphen init after using ng hyphen init and then we can initialize the value after initializing that value and then we can use that value into model i will show to you i will show you an example about that don't worry about that ng repeat defines a template defines a template for each data in collection and one more is we are having ng hide 
height or shows HTML element and one more we are having ng shows show or hides HTML element ng if removes the HTML element if a control if a condition is false and uh, one more we are having ng options it specifies option in a select list ng class it specifies css class on html element in html element whenever we will use css then we have to create a directive to that directive we can call as a class ng click specify and expression to evaluate when an element is being clicked and angular.js provides number of predefined directive in order to minimize your code both are both at HTML and JavaScript And now I want to show you example how can we use directive in our program fit for a second for that we have to open Visual Code Studio as I as I am having in on desktop if you don't want to use from the desktop for that we can we have to click click on window button after clicking over there and then we can see here Visual Studio Code and then we have to click over there after clicking here and then we have to click here after clicking here And then we have to go in a project in a folder but if you are not getting here any folder Now you can see here, here is showing recent my code and ng. These all are our projects. Now we have to click over there my code. After clicking on my code, and then we have to click over my code. As I have clicked over there, and then we are inside, we have to go inside the app application, and then we have to click over there after clicking over there and then we have to create our folder in which folder we want to create our program so i have to create that as i have to as i am creating a folder new folder directives now i have to create a file inside as I have clicked here the file name is first program dot html now I have to write our first program inside that First of all, we have to create here HTML type. And then we 
have to create head. And then we have to create title tag. In the title, in the title we can write anything, whatever we want to write. What is our title? As uh, I want to show you. Directives example. Now I have to create a script tag. In the script, I have to write source source code. In the source code, we have to write Angular JS path means CDN path. To get CDN path, I have to go inside the Google. After going to Google, and then we have to write here Angular JS dot org. After going there and, and we have to click over download angular.js and then we can get the path cdn path. This is the very very mandatory. If we will not use this path, then our program will not work. So you have to use every time whenever you will use. Now we have to close head tag after closing this and then we have to open a body. After opening that body and then we have to write h tag h means heading in h tag we have to write in h tag we have to write here ing hyphen in it means initialization as we will initialize value in that and then we have to open a div div tag inside the div inside the div we have to write here G hyphen app equal to double course and G hyphen Now this is a ng app. It means this it, it will show that where from our program will run starting and ending. And uh, in ng hyphen in it, it shows that initialization whatever we are initializing in that that will run in our program. And uh, we will see this. We will continue this video in next video. Thank you.